Going to try to do this video on how to make a homemade pizza dough with a sourdough. What you're going to need, you're going to need one teaspoon of salt, two and a half cups of flour, one cup of sourdough starter, a half cup of warm water, one and a half tablespoons of olive oil, and three quarters of a tablespoon of honey. That all gets put into a mixer where you then mix it up. We're going to do that right now. You're going to put everything into the mixer. I usually save the salt for last. Go ahead and mix up everything except for the salt. And add the salt. <clears throat> Still looks a little dry, so I'm going to add just a little bit more water to it. Probably about a tablespoon. <laughs> Once the dough is pulling away from the bowl, I usually Set a timer for about seven or eight minutes.
if you don't have a dough hook and a KitchenAid mixer, you can mix it with just a hand mixer. However you want to do it, you could mix it by hand if you wanted to. While that's doing its thing, I'm going to go ahead and add some olive oil to a bowl. Doesn't have to be much. Just enough to keep the dough from sticking. I'm going to use a paper towel to help spread that around. So you can see, definitely not that much. All right, we're coming up on the time. So I'll go ahead and get this out of here. I'm going to transfer the dough to this bowl. Cover it in plastic so it doesn't dry out. And then you're going to let this rise for about two to four hours. Unless you have a proofer and then you're going to stick it in a proofer until it doubles in size. And I just so happen to have a proofer. Already set up. It's 100 degrees. I'm going to add some water to the water tray. And set that bowl right inside there. until this doubles in size. I'll bring you back when that happens. Once your dough is done rising, put it on a floured surface. You're going to cut it in half or thereabouts. Next thing you're going to do is go ahead and try to get this flattened out. And of course, I forget to turn the camera on. But the crust is now formed. Pizza sauce goes on next.
and a little trick wait until the last 10 minutes to put the cheese on you can put this in a regular oven or a pizza oven The nice thing about a pizza oven, it's been in there for five minutes. Time for the cheese. This cheese is partially frozen. It'll be all right though. And that goes back in the pizza oven. Till the cheese melts. Two minutes later, 